There are four statistical concepts and practices you should understand before calculating a project buffer. The first one is standard distribution of task duration. This standard distribution is determined using random variances in the actual completed task duration. So you'll calculate the expected estimate for the task duration and then the variances and you'll figure out the standard distribution between the actual estimate and those variances. Another concept is estimating at 50% confidence. This means that we come up with estimates that will likely be accurate at a 50% probability, so we're 50% confident that those estimates are correct. The third concept to keep in mind is estimating at 90% confidence. This means that those estimates will likely be accurate 90% of the time, where we're 90% confident of those estimates. Finally, there is the practice of using both 50% and 90% estimates. When we use both the 50% and 90% confidence estimates, we can come up with a value or a range that's called the local safety, and it's where our estimates will probably fall somewhere between what we think is 50% most likely to happen and 90%. Two common methods for calculating buffer are the Critical Chain Project Management, or CCPM method, and the square root of the sum of the squares method. Critical Chain revolves around the resources needed to complete the project tasks, and we create a critical chain by looking at the sequence of the longest series of dependent tasks in our project. Then we add buffers at the end of the project in order to absorb any delays and this helps protect the project completion date. The square root of the sum of the squares method was developed by Mike Cohn and is often more accurate than the critical chain method, especially for agile projects. This method assumes that the difference between the 50% and 90% confidence estimates for a task is approximately two standard deviations from the actual value. So to calculate the square root of the sum of the squares method, first, you'd take each task's 90% or worst case estimate. Next, subtract its 50% or average estimate. In the third step, you divide the result by two and square that result. In step four, you calculate the sum of the results for all the tasks. Finally, the fifth step is to calculate the square root of that result and multiply by two for the final result. There are two main guidelines to follow when calculating the project buffer. The first is, plan a buffer for projects with more than 10 user stories. Using the square root of the sum of the squares method produces the most adequate buffer. The second guideline is, ensure that the project buffer represents at least 20% of the total project duration. If it's smaller than 20%, it may not provide sufficient protection against delays. In summary, to calculate the square root of the sum of the squares method, first you take each task's 90% or worst case estimate. Next, subtract its 50% or average estimate. In the third step, you divide the result by two and square that result. In step four, you calculate the sum of the results for all the tasks. Finally, the fifth step is to calculate the square root of that result and multiply by two for the final result.